Hello, Shark Scrapping fans, and anybody that's new to the channel. I've got 18 random PCs that I pulled from the last lot, and I thought it'd be fun to see what these things are really worth here from scrap value perspective. All right, come on, let's dive in and find out. Now, rather than you watch me actually go through 18 computers in real time, I thought we'd do a little kind of Mako speed thing here, get, uh, you know, have some, have the background of me going through these computers, but then we're going to look at some pretty interesting things that came up in the different computers, and then we'll do a, a wrap up at the end with uh, the major value items that I came up with. All right, so um, at, you know what? Let's go ahead and start with this computer that you see right here. Uh, this was a little bit older generation, so here's some here's something pretty interesting came out of this one. So in the older computers, uh, the old the older CPUs uh, can be worth some decent money. Uh, this is an AMD. That's a Category Four board sort. Take it out very carefully. You can see those beautiful gold pins on there. Uh, nice AMD ceramic there. That goes into a special place. And then this is now, this is a large socket motherboard, so this will not get sold to my local yard, but this will get held in reserve for board sort. I saw something kind of interesting when I got onto the motherboard on this uh, gamer here. Uh, so let's go take a look at that real quick as well. It's not so much about the value of the board, but just an interesting observation. Interesting, when I pulled the heat sink off of this one, it's all scorched underneath the hair. So I would say that bad boy overheated in some way. Never seen that before. But there's some little bit of melted plastic and stuff. So, man, they did something to burn this baby out. It was a gamer type frame. So, probably what? Overclocked it to the point that it just gave up the ghost? All right, well, this is going to go into the um, uh, high grade boards for my yard. Uh, not much else to take off. I took off the uh, jumpers and. Uh, I'll take off an oscillator, and that'll be about it for this one. Okay, so I'm going to keep working on this gamer here. Um, but while I'm doing that, let's take a look at one of these uh, newer towers that I, that I came across. <clears throat> so when you see this bent arm, that's a real good indication that this is going to be an i-series CPU. And in this case... I already cleaned off the paste. I saw that it was an i5. Let's see. You want to be very gentle with these now when you know it's an i series. So this is i5-3470. So that's that's going to be a possible sale item. Does not appear to have any damage on it. So that's going to go in the special handling bin and we'll reach out to Keith and see if he's interested in that. If not, we sell it to board sort. Now, if you're wondering what I'm doing here, I'm taking the fans and I'm cutting out the little motors from inside. So I break them away from the fan enclosure, cut off the fins, and then they become uh, small motors. Uh, at my yard so and we'll show you what the, how many of those I got out of this and what the value was for those as well so because this is going as a high grade board to my local yard I can do a little bit of depopulating on it so I'm gonna pull these jumpers and this just goes into a bin that I'll separate later on uh, there really isn't much else here 
uh, these are useless don't waste your time you as a, the uh, you know home scrapper you can't get anything out of that the commercial guys can do some stuff with that we can't those MLCCs are too small to worry about um, the rest of this stuff these little copper coils yeah you know if you're really into the copper thing go for it um, there's some oscillators here so there's a surface mount oscillator we'll pull that throw that in the bucket uh, but otherwise this will just get sold the way it is while I am kind of Mako speeding through all of these computers and stuff, let's go ahead and start talking about the scrap value from these 18 PCs. Now this is just a random representative 18 computers that I pulled out of the lot. I do these spot checks periodically uh, just to make sure that I'm still on the plus side uh, with the agreement that I have with this particular yard. Some things are pretty obvious, like for instance, the shred. Right, you know, there's going to be shred steel in the cases and the little nuts and bolts. Uh, in um, in this case, when I went to the yard to drop these off, uh, I weighed in at 180 pounds. So at five cents a pound, that got me a whopping nine dollars for the shred steel. The high grade circuit boards is another one that's uh, very easy to understand and uh, weigh out. Uh, we ended up with. 19 pounds of high-grade circuit boards. My yard is paying $1.25 a pound, so that was $23.75. Also ended up with about a three-gallon bucket full of insulated copper wire, number two, uh, according to my yard that I take it to now. Um, they do not require that I take off the plug ends, and they're paying a, a pretty good price at 70 cents a pound. And I've got plenty of uh, gold connector ends waiting to go to board sort, so I just left them on there. So that was uh, 8.94 pounds. Uh, so at 70 cents a pound, that's $6.26. You may have noticed this little brown tub by my right hand. Yeah, right there. That's where I'm putting the CD-ROM boards that I'm taking off of the CD-ROMs. I'm working on one right now. Uh, I'm also putting the uh, gold finger cards uh, that uh, I've been pulling off. Uh, so CD-ROM boards, uh, we ended up with about a half a pound of CD-ROM boards. And at $4.25 from board sort, that's uh, two twenty-five. And then the gold finger cards, not as many as I would have normally gotten, but we did okay here, um, ended up with uh, about 0.6 pound of gold finger cards that was after I took off the brackets the fans the heat sink at 435 a pound that came up to two dollars and 61 cents a pound by the way if you're interested in those gold finger cards and you want a little more detailed video I'm going to put a link up here uh, should be up in the right hand corner for a video that I did on preparing the gold finger cards to send to board sort for maximum value. Okay, let's see what other little miscellaneous type stuff we ended up with here. Hard drives, we've got a one terabyte hard drive, two 500 gigabyte hard drives. Oops. Hard drives, we got a one terabyte. This one is a one terabyte, but it's in pretty bad shape, so we'll clean it up. We'll see if it's functional, if it's any good. Uh, but I'm not counting on that one. A couple of 500 gigs, and then these are all smaller. There's no value in those other than they're boards. Hard drives are always, you know, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hard drives. Um, it's always kind of iffy what the value is there. Uh, RAM, uh, we'll go ahead and weigh up the RAM here, and I'll put that in there. But uh, you can see we got a nice bunch of RAM out of that thing. Um, we got a good amount of brass here, uh, and uh, I can weigh up the brass. This was copper that, you know, number two copper that came off of um, one of the copper aluminum heat sinks. Uh, so, you know, just for fun, I'll see if I can get a weight on that. Uh, and then I'll, I need to get the weight for the boards and the aluminum heat sinks. We had a couple of copper stackers, so I don't know how we're going to put value on those. And we had some copper aluminum heat sinks 
Uh, there was, you know, it's just a couple, so can't really pull a good value on those. So we also picked up a buck sixty-seven from our aluminum heat sinks. We had four and a half pounds of those, uh, and uh, the yard is paying thirty-seven cents a pound right now. The small motors, we had two and a half pounds of small motors at 24 cents a pound. So, you know, 61 cents. Uh, the CPUs, we had a, um, we had quite a few decent CPUs here, a mix of i3s and i5s, second, third, fourth generation. Uh, and um, what we ended up with between Romantic, who, buys them to build computers for low and middle income families to help with education and stuff and what I can get them what I can sell them to board sort assuming they still function uh, that came out to $134 in the CPUs themselves so when you add it all up uh, we probably pulled in about I don't know 213 bucks uh, take away some some uh, postage fees and fuel charges and you know we're about 190 bucks or so i know you're saying to yourself right now well that's great shark you're going to make 190 bucks but what did it cost you very fair question and i'm afraid i can't give you a satisfactory answer because i have an agreement with this yard not to discuss the selling price so having said that, let me assure you I'm very happy uh, with this agreement. We interrupt your regularly scheduled video to bring you this unboxing from Street Copper 11. I saw him make this. This is sweet. Hang on, hang on, now. come on, hang on now. Oh man, man, it's really well wrapped too. Look at this. Look at this. That's a brass shark from Street Copper 11. Let's see, did he? Yep, we got a little mark on the back there. Oops, here we are. This is awesome. I gotta find just the right place to put this. Thank you, Street Copper 11. I'm gonna put a link down in the description below for his channel. Go check him out. He's just getting started and he's doing some cool stuff. Okay, let's see, where were we? Oh yes, I'm making money on this. Yes, I'm very happy with this relationship. It's good. Uh, you know, some some pallet loads I make more than others, but I'm making money on all the pallet loads, so that's a good thing. Uh, really interesting, sometimes I get these older computers that have some gold-bearing material that you just don't see anymore, and then sometimes I'm getting the newer computers that have uh, the newer i5, i7 kind of processors, things I can sell off as functional computer items. And to be perfectly honest with you, sometimes I get empty shells, right? So, you know, I'm losing money on those. Um, but you make up for it in the other stuff. And that's, you know, that's what happens when you're buying them by the pallet load, right? You're not inspecting every computer that goes on it. Hey, if you're enjoying these videos, I'm going to put a link up here so you can go to my e-waste playlist. You're going to see a bunch of e-waste items there. And, of course, when you're there, you can also go, you know, see all the other videos that I've got out there. I've got some really cool videos out there, like the ones that I talked about with the gold finger cards, uh, how I depopulate boards, that kind of stuff. Also, please make sure you check out the links to Romantic. <clears throat> He's the guy that makes computers for the low and middle income families. And, of course, you know, top end gamers, too, if they're really interested. But, you know, he's really making computers for people that can't afford the big box store computers. Also, check out uh, my friend Seth at Street Copper 11. He made that brass shark. It is so cool. When you check out his next video, drop a line in the comments that said, Shark sent you. All right, everybody, stay safe, wear those masks, wash those hands, and we will see you all next time.